Hi Aries, welcome to your reading. This is gonna be for mid-December. It is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're gonna get into your recent past, your current energy, the near future, and then we are going to um, clarify. Sorry, a little distracted. So if you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys for all of your support. If you are new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you'll consider subscribing. And if you would like a personal reading, that information is in the description box below or the about section of my channel. All right, so I had just shuffled and I'm gonna cut them one more time. Let's see what's going on in your overall energy. So we have the seven of cups in reverse. So if you've needed to narrow down your choices about something or if something seemed to be a little bit confusing, um, energies seem to be all over the place, this seems like it's a time right here and now in mid-December where things are gonna start clearing up. You're going to narrow down the possibilities. Um, for some people, this is multiple love situations, but this could be a lot of things that you really love to do, and it could have been a little bit of overwhelm, and now you're starting to say, okay, I need to narrow this down and focus more on one or two things versus so many things all at once. So it does feel like clear uh, ability to focus on specific things in your life. All right, so let's look at the recent past. So we have the Nine of Cups with the Three of Pentacles. All right, this is a good energy. It looks like something was super fulfilling. It could have been something that happened with you and a couple of other people. You could have had a really great project at work or figured out something that was starting to um, help you understand what was important to you and what was going to be more fulfilling for you at work. You could have also felt appreciated for the first time in a long time. Um, and I, it makes sense with the seven of cups in reverse and then the nine of cups in the upright, because if you are narrowing things down, whatever was happening here was also helping you understand what really does fulfill you. And if you feel like you're doing a good job at what you're doing and you're getting the recognition that you deserve, then sure, you're going to want to keep doing something that not only feels great emotionally, but that you also get recognized for and there could be more recognition that's coming and that's why they're bringing this up because the more fulfilled you are with something the more energy and love and desire you put into it the more response you will get all right so after the three of pentacles we have the seven of swords so this doesn't always have to be a bad card by the way this can be seizing opportunities um letting things go from the past that that don't work I did have a feeling like there may have been something that popped up around a third party. So you may have found out, which was really good for you to know for sure, if somebody was involved with somebody else. I don't feel really bad about it. I know that sounds terrible, but the energy just doesn't feel super bad. It may have been like for some of you, you were dating different people and one person, this popped up and you're like, okay, well, I didn't really know you that well or care anyway. Um, the, the rest of the energy that's coming from this is about you specifically um, taking any really good opportunity and running with it. That's what it feels like. So keep going with that energy because it's really nice. All right. The current energy we have is the Eight of Pentacles. Very focused on work. No doubt. Two of Swords. Anything that was keeping you held back or where you didn't feel clarity in the past, again, clear path. Page of Cups in reverse. So it's interesting because the way that they're making me feel with this is that you're not starting over. It isn't like the slate needs to be wiped clean and that you need to start fresh with something. It's like you made a decision and you're focused there because this really fulfills you. And the more you do that, the better off you are, the better that you feel. Now, if you did have a situation where somebody was stepping out, um, could have been you, could have been them, you may have decided that it's not worth reinvesting in even hearing somebody out. Because if somebody's going to lie and cheat and that's not something you want to deal with, most people don't. Some have open relationships. Most people don't, though. Um, in this case, I'd say you're probably putting that to an end and focusing on the things that obviously here are creating a lot more joy. And if right now that's work, that's work. All right, so let's keep going for the near future. We have the High Priestess in reverse. All right, there's something about you not trusting your intuition I want to be clear about this. And a lot of you already know this. So I may be, this may be going on deaf, not going on deaf ears, but it could be something you already understand. 
when we have things happen in our lives that don't turn out very well, or there was something about it that was just disappointing, but yet we felt like we were following our intuition, a lot of people will go, well, I don't trust my intuition anymore. So in this case, you could have felt like you weren't trusting yourself and some bad things may have happened or you trusted yourself and bad things happened. And then all of a sudden you're like, well, I don't know whether I can trust my intuition again. Yes, you can. Um, there will always be little tiny red flags that we miss or something that pops up that we allow to pass by. So it isn't that you 1000% missed everything. You needed to learn something from it. So I just want to say, don't lose faith that your intuition is guiding you in the right place. Even if something doesn't work out, it doesn't mean it wasn't meant to be. I hope that helps. So the high priestess in reverse to the 10 of cups. So this is what I'm saying. Some of you feel like your picker was off and you may have made some bad choices in the past and spirits like, nope, because this is what's coming. The 10 of cups. So true partnership, love, connection, something's coming up. But I think this is going to come out of the blue for those of you that are single. This is not something you're going to expect. It's because more of your energy seems to be focused on the things that you love. Uh, it just feels very much about love. It's nice. I have to say it's, I think you guys are more thinkers. Not that you're not emotional because I, I know you are. It's just this feels more focused on your joy and your happiness and your emotional than it does your head or, you know, being really grounded. It's a good thing. The 10 of cups then goes to the nine of wands. So you've learned what you needed to. Yes, he's the wounded warrior, but this is about coming out the other side of those tough lessons that we always talk about and finding real happiness and real contentment. But sometimes that's same thing to me. It's like, okay, I didn't trust my intuition and here are the bumps and bruises to, to prove or I did trust my intuition and I still feel like something didn't go right. They're trying to clear you of that energy and allow you to open up for what's coming because something new and exciting, just a lot of happiness in the near future. So you're on the other side of a difficult period. Um, even if this is every couple of months, you felt like you were going up and then dipping back down and going back up. This is going to be one of the up motions. And then for your challenge, we have the Queen of Cups. So some of you are still working on a little bit of self-love and nurturing. Um, this could also be a challenge with a mother figure for some of you. And if you have a challenge with one, I think a lot of us have that in this life. That could be the lessons that you... <sighs> that you've been through and had to learn. And in this case, I'm going to say that self-love can come from a challenging relationship with a parental figure, a mother. All right, so let's keep going. Let's look at the Seven of Cups in reverse. What do we have for the Seven of Cups? All right, so we have the Knight of Pentacles. Great energy. When I said you're narrowing the path, you're closing things in a little bit, you're letting some of the residual energy out. You're not going to be focused on 15 different things. You're going to narrow it down to a few, slow and steady and focus. That's good energy because it's very grounded and practical, which I like. That feels great. And then we have that page of cups in reverse again. Yeah, I keep wanting to say you're not having to start from the beginning again. You're just, it feels like your energy is refocusing. And you're narrowing it down to a couple of things, which is helping create happiness. It just feels like a lot of joy around you. I hope this is happening for you guys because it feels great. The strength in reverse, you may be a little worn out um, for having to get through all of this confusing energy, but I feel like you're getting there. And then we have the Empress in reverse. So even though this makes you happy at times, um, you may feel like you're not quite there yet where you feel 100% yourself. Now, for some of you, if you were dealing with a person, it could have been a Leo. Um, that could have been a problem that also wore you out a bit or made you kind of doubt yourself or you just didn't feel like you after you went through that. But I think finding your joy in your work again and then focusing on yourself and trusting that this new thing is going to be coming in is going to be really helpful, especially helping get through this if there was something that hurt and was difficult. Now, you taking, oh, see, Ace of Swords, you taking um, chances and going for, I want to say going for the gold, 
and taking opportunities that are important and just kind of scattering away, taking your dignity with you as well before somebody could create more issues. Ace of Swords, lots of clarity around this. Something's clearly coming through. And then I re remember before I was saying that there were people at work that were appreciating and could be giving you a lot of kudos because things are looking good. So you have a couple different energies going on there. If, if somebody did you wrong, you're going to get clear about that. No doubt you'll get the answers that you need. You will also get some clarity about how people feel about how you're producing in your work environment. So it's a good thing. I think there's a lot, there's just a lot of energy. All right, so the Eight of Pentacles with the Two of Swords in reverse, we have the Seven of Wands. This is you putting up your guard. Now, this could also be that you're going to be in the spotlight and there's going to be a lot of attention on you. That makes sense, especially if you're putting a lot into your work um, and people are starting to appreciate what you're doing. You could have a lot of, there could be some people that are envious as well. So we, we know that there's always going to be people that are jealous of the things that you're doing. But I do feel like for some of you, this is going to put you in the spotlight. So just be ready for it because it can be a little intimidating, especially if you start finding out what it's like to really be out there and a lot of attention on you all at once. It can be a little bit much. Um, but this is like a, a restart for you, not starting fresh from the bottom up. It just feels like you're refreshing something that you really enjoy and it's working out very well. All right. So under the seven of swords, we have the six of pentacles. I like it in reverse. In the upright, he's giving a lot to other people or people always looking for handouts in some way, shape or form financially. It could be that you're finally closing the purse strings. That's a saying. So for guys, your wallet and saying, no, I'm not going to be giving of myself. You may also just not be investing in other people as much and you're focused more on yourself. And that's what helps you uh, put yourself more out there. It's You're definitely putting in the hard work, no doubt. It's like not giving up on something that maybe had been, you'd put some energy into and it hadn't gone anywhere just yet. And now all of a sudden it is and you're getting a lot of attention for it. It feels really great. I just don't think you're putting a lot into other people, which is important. You have to focus the energy on yourself. All right, so the high priestess in reverse with the 10 of cups, devil in reverse. So whatever this is that's coming in, this new person, if you haven't met them yet, I do feel like, they could be a Capricorn, I do feel like it's going to be a, a good, healthy connection. So don't doubt yourself or your intuition. If you feel like this is going to be right, I think Spirit's trying to say you've already learned what you've needed to. I think, you know, you've clearly got enough wisdom now that you're not going to make the same mistakes again. So under that devil card, we have the nine of swords, but see, it stresses you out. So just be aware of that energy. If this is something that goes through your mind and you're like, oh God, I could kick myself because I've made these mistakes before and I don't want to make them again. You know, just try to remember that you've already been through enough and you already know you're prepared. You're ready for what this is that's coming in and it's going to be a healthy one. So the queen of cups and your challenge, hangman, Okay, so the hangman is in reverse. So your challenge is holding back sometimes or feeling free enough to get out of being stuck because it is in reverse, which means the challenge is for you to get out of a place of feeling stuck. And it could be, again, connected to that energy. For some of you, it's a mother figure. For others of you, it's um, not being able to nurture yourself because you feel like you have to, with the Six of Pentacles, take care of everybody else around you. And you're, you're not able to really focus on you. But something else is coming here where it's you're definitely putting your energy into yourself. And they're telling you, please continue to do so because it's important. You can't give to others unless you take care of you first. So it may be just a little bit tough to continue to put all the focus on yourself. Especially if you're done with raising children and you're on the other side of it in that age group, it can be hard once you're, when your focus has been on everybody else for so long. And then to be able to actually put it all on yourself, it feels weird. All right, let's keep going and see if there's any advice that Spirit might have for you. What advice do you have for Aries here? Okay, so the Four of Wands. If something's not working out and not making you happy, let it go. Two of Cups. There is some coming together that's going to happen. You're going to find somebody that you connect with or you may have because you got out of a situation that was no longer working. If there was a divorce or a disconnect in a home environment 
Well, this Two of Cups is coming along to re not reunite because it's not something from your past to connect you with somebody who's going to really understand you. It's going to be, it's something really deep. So for those of you that are single, I would get ready. Temperance in reverse, a part of you may have been really impatient waiting for this to come along, the death and rebirth. You knew that something had to change. And maybe a part of you was a little frustrated because you couldn't find that person or you've been asking for a long time, where are they? Some of you don't care. Some of you could be single and just be like, I'm going through my own process. I'm happy with work. Things are getting better. I'm getting clearer about the direction that I want to go and I don't need it. But I do feel like for most of you, you've already gone through a death and rebirth process. And, you know, you're just ready to get going. Even though sometimes it can be scary to put yourself either back out there in the world or to be in a position where a lot of people see you and you're well known. For some of you, that could be a little tough because you know that you've got to take care of you and it can be hard when you're always giving your energy to other people. All right, let's see if what else we have. One more card. So three of cups. You, for some of you, this is going to be a new group of friends or some people around you or even some old friends that are really supportive. So I feel like you've got a lot of that around you in the next couple of weeks. All right, let's look at the lover's oracle. All right, so we have time. You were trying too hard. Give it some time. All right, so if your energy has been a little worn out, like we saw with the Leo card, the strength in reverse, that could just be you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, and obviously there's some outcome that's great with that. But maybe take a little bit of a rest because you've been pushing a little bit too hard. Transformation, your relationship with one another is about to deepen love, conquers, and transforms all things. I didn't pick up a lot on a connection. So if you are connected and you're looking for some message that things are going to continue to grow, that's your message for you. Because a lot of this was about leaving something behind and getting ready for something new. And if you've just met somebody, that could be the case. Is it you really want that confirmation that things are about to deepen, which it feels like. Power, you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or walk away at any time, of course. Surrender, at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives, let go and all will work out. Okay, for some of you, yeah, there may still be some frustra frustration, if I can spit that out, or some anger, whatever, connected to someone who did you wrong, understood. It's hard to let go of those feelings and it's hard not to be afraid of what might be coming next if you've been hurt a few times but try to let yourself let go of some of that because you can't change it it's done and letting that go is the best thing you could possibly do for your future situation i would say you don't want to project onto the new the things that came from the old all right so let's see what else we have we have no place like home some of you could be 50 or born on the fifth this could be a change in your home environment with that four of wands in reverse that i saw earlier that could be saying that you've either moved home or you're moving home or something about your home is changing. And you could get some, actually, I just heard you could get some good news this time, right now, when you're seeing this reading. Change in the wind, same thing. Um, that's also, for me, around your home or a change in um, geographical. Interesting. So this could be moving states for some people. You could be born on the 12th, the 1st, the 2nd, or the 3rd. So keep that in mind. And then we have here and now. So you could be 32, born on the 3rd, the 2nd, or the 5th. And that's a 5 as well. So focus on, they're asking you to focus on the here and now. But if something is coming up in your awareness around your living situation, you feel like it needs to change, it could just be that the energy is pushing you to take a look at things. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do it right now. It could be February or March for some of you. Um, observer. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. You can just observe the energy and kind of take a look around and see where it is that you want to go. If you're wanting to make some kind of a significant change or you're ready to. So you could be 49, born on the 4th, the 9th or the 13th of the month. Just observe the energy right now. I don't know that there's, for some of you, you could have already moved. Yes, there's anything is possible, obviously, in these readings. But for me, this feels more like you're just kind of taking a look at things and you're not necessarily making a an immediate move right now in the mid part of December. Okay, 
Those are your messages. Thank you so, so much for being here. I'm sending you guys a ton of love. If you would like a personal reading, that information's in the description box below or the about section of my channel. Please hit that like button on the way out. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care and have a good one.